Hi, uh, it's William Jamming, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of practice. I recently have been uh, like learning how to use a very simple uh, drawing to to get the idea across. Uh, so uh, <laughs> let me show you uh, my practice. Okay, so I'm going to uh, draw a uh, cute chicken. So um, I want to use a very simple like a triangle shape. Okay. Maybe not this. Okay, maybe something like this. And um, so um, I'm thinking the chicken will be uh, shaped like this. Maybe rounded and uh, something like that. Okay, but uh, if you if you do that, is a uh, it's really weird and really stupid, but uh, uh, I just want to show you my uh, my thinking process. Okay, so um, in order for for it to make a, a to, to to be a little bit cute, uh, you have to you know um, uh, make it rounded, so you can't get like a too uh, pointy. So uh, this will be rounded, and uh, you should add a little bit of detail. So maybe some something like this. Okay, and uh, then uh, yeah, then the drawing is um, exactly the same left side and right side, so we can use um, some sort of a mirror tool. So uh, in order for you to draw um, uh, symmetrically, um, let me just get this reference lower a little bit. Uh, you can go to this uh, wrench tool. And uh, um, I believe you can go to the canvas and uh, things is uh, well, kind of assistant. So you can have the drawing guide and uh, add the drawing guide. And we got the uh, symmetry here. And um, things is a, um, yeah, some sort of, uh, uh, you know, symmetry. Uh, and we, we, we got this uh, like a, Center line, left and right. This is good, uh, unless you want like uh, rotate it. Okay, so if you draw here or symmetry at the left side, uh, that doesn't really matter right now because the the default is already pretty good. So once you are satisfied with the setting, um, you can just uh, click down, and then you can just uh, draw, but with the help of the uh, symmetry uh, guidance. And uh, things I already got this a studio pen. So if you look here, it looks pretty good. And I'm going to make it a little bit rounded. Okay. Hopefully, rounded. Something like that. Okay. This screen got odd, a peach shape. So I'm going to get around it. And then uh, maybe something like this. Okay. And then a straight line, hopefully. And then around it, and then straight line. Okay, hopefully this will work. If it didn't work, um, you can always, you know, fine tuning this by adding some sort of a adjustment, or just uh, make it more varied. So. You won't, um, you know, get too uh, like computer generated, algorithm generated. You won't add a, some sort of a, like a personal touch, okay? And uh, of course, of course, there are also another way of doing this. Uh, so I'm going to, I just want to show you all this like a thinking process and step-by-step -step process, okay? So another way of doing this is just using the basic shape, but without modify the basic shape, but rather use the help of say circle, okay? And we got one circle here, and uh, you can duplicate this, okay? So you can, uh, like here you can flip, warp, or you can just uh, simply Uh, 
three fingers, sorry, three fingers swipe down, and you can copy it, and then you can uh, paste it here. You can drag it to a approximately um, same position on the right side, okay, and then you can then you know paste it here, and then drag it to approximately here. Okay, so it give uh, you uh, some sort of anchor point for you to further your drawing. So um, uh, let's just uh, go with this layer. One, two, three. So three layers are going to combine together and uh, then connect the dots. Okay, so you got two dots connected. Okay, and these two dots connected. And one last, this two dot connected. Okay, and then you can uh, get rid of um, the line that you don't want. So that's my thinking process. Uh, using triangle and a circle, we got this uh, rounded, cute shape. Uh, let's get rid of this as well. Yeah, uh, I don't want to like go to too detail about this. Um, just a, a quick. Um, okay, and of course um, you can use uh, your own brush. Uh, you don't need to like a hundred percent rely on them. Okay, you can. Um, just uh, you know adding your brush a little bit and then um, once you're satisfied with the basic shape you can then fill that color uh, so you can have a uh, um, yeah the basic uh, feeling about your drawing okay so uh, maybe too dark just to bright it up a little bit okay and then this is a very uh, like a simple drawing um, I'm going to, um, yeah, maybe add another layer. Okay, and uh, remember, we got this uh, like a drawing guide already switched along, so I don't need to worry about other things. Um, so, for example, the the uh, the wind. I'm going to do something like. Uh, Um, then since it's the wind, um, I'm going to use uh, like a triangle. Okay, uh, maybe just something like this. And then you can fill uh, with a specific color, maybe yellowish color. Okay, I need to um, close it in order to actually uh, it is not 100% uh, symmetric uh, so we have some of the things that are lacking and uh, then uh, we got some like a circle left and right so what I'm going to do is to get a darkish color and triangle Uh, can I just uh, drag this? Okay, I can't drag the feet down. Um, maybe another layer for the feet. Okay. Um, I believe um, you can use uh, like a reddish color. Okay, and. Uh, going to copy it and uh, three finger paste it uh, but flip horizontally and move it to here of course you can use uh, then use the uh, um, assistance okay 
okay? And uh, then add a little bit, um, maybe I. Okay, uh, I don't need the uh, drawing system now because uh, I don't want it to be like a 100% symmetric. Okay, and um, then the mouse. Just uh, use the, the color. Yeah, pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, maybe add a little bit. So we shape like this, line. Drop it here. Okay, a very cute chicken. And uh, yeah, uh, but but still, uh, this, uh, uh, the chicken still lacking a lot of the detail. Okay, and uh, I'm going to show you how to add a detail in my next video.